came out after he was already on the ground and Robertson recovered, gave them a fresh set of downs from the Taos 18. They're able to drive into the end zone after that. And with three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock here in the first half, they will be attempting an extra point kick. Here's the snap and the kick. It's low, but looks good from here. And the officials agree, so Robertson puts seven on the board. Taos is still up with three minutes and 20 seconds to play in the first half. Taos 10, Robertson 7. We'll be right back for the kickoff on your new home for Taos Tiger football, 95-9, the Mountain. For the Tigers, we'll have Isaac Gonzalez from the 8 and 26, Devin Arteta. Kicking off for, for Robertson, who will be number 9. Welcome back to 95.9, your new home for Taos Tiger football, the Mountain. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to play here in the first half. Taos will now be receiving a kickoff as the Robertson Cardinal has taken it on their third possession. Actually, it's their fourth possession. They had it on their third possession, turned the ball over to Taos inside the 20. Taos took it over on offense, but then fumbled the ball away to Robertson again. They took over first and 10 from the Taos 18, drove in from there to get on the board. It is Taos 10, Robertson 7. Seven. Here comes their kick, number nine, Brandon Trujillo to do the kick. It is a short kick on the right-hand side, intentionally kicked away from the middle of the field and will go out of bounds prior to the 20-yard line. Here come the flags. That's illegal. You don't get to kick the ball out of bounds. Flag on the play. Tigers will have the ball at their own 35. It's a touchback if you kick it in the end zone, the ball comes out to the 20, but if you kick it out of bounds, the ball comes out to the 35-yard line. Taos huddles on the sideline, of course, and then comes straight to the ball from the sideline without huddling to start each possession. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to play here in the first half. Put your hands together! Taos will send two men wide to the right. They have a wing on the left side. Jonathan Cordova in the backfield, a tailback. They'll pitch it to him coming to the right-hand side. Now he tries to go to the outside. He gets pushed out of bounds for essentially no gain on the near sideline. This is a new wrinkle for Taos. They've had Jonathan Cordova in the backfield for most of the first half. Typically we'll see an eye formation with Isaac Gonzalez as the tailback and Lorenzo Rael as the fullback, but we've not seen that formation all day today in the first half. They'll give Cordova a gain of about one yard, second down and nine for the Tigers. Ball spotted on the right-hand hash mark. Tigers going left to right across your radio dial. The left-hand side is the wide side. They split two men wide to the right, the short side of the field, a wing on the left and one man in the backfield. Here's the snap. They fake a pitch. They want to throw the ball. Now they're going to go deep. They've got Devin Ortega wide open, and he drops it. He had to lay out. He dove for the ball at the 30-yard line. He was 10 yards behind the defense. He laid out Superman style. The ball hit his hands, and he couldn't hang on to it. He's, a, he's on the ground, writhing around. I bet that's got him. The wind knocked out of him as he laid out Superman style. Complete extension going for the ball. He was wide open, and the ball was no more than six inches overthrown. He just couldn't hang on to it as he landed on the ground. He did a belly flop on the turf going full speed. I bet that's just the wind knocked out of him. But, man, Taos had a play there. That was a touchdown for sure. Just a hair overthrown as Devin Ortega could not pull that ball down. Let's take a 30-second break right here while they attend to Devin. You're listening to the new home for Taos Tiger football. It's 95.9 The Mountain.
Welcome back to your new home for Taos Tiger football. It's 95-9, the mountain. Three minutes, five seconds left to play here in the first half of the New Mexico State Championship semifinal playoff game. It is Taos 10, Robertson 7. Devin Ortega just now getting off the ground. Taos had a home run ball there. They threw the ball from their own 30, had Devin Ortega at the other 30, wide open, 10 yards behind the defense. The ball slightly overthrown. Devin laid out Superman style, complete extension, diving in front of him, arms extended. The ball was in his hands, but he belly flopped on the turf. The ball came out for an incompletion. Knocked the wind out of him. He's just now walking off the turf. Coach Lopez there. and Everybody was giving the thumbs up. I think uh, it's understandable. Get the wind knocked out of you. Belly flopping on the turf, running full speed, and then diving as far as you can. But uh, that was a near home run ball. As Taos had Robertson set up, they had everybody in tight there. It looked like they were going to run the ball. McCarty pulled up and threw the ball deep and had his man, but just missed on the connection. Third down and nine now. Taos will break their hole, come to the line of scrimmage after that exciting incompletion. They'll have the same formation. Two men split to the right, which is the near side of the field, the short side of the field. Lorenzo Rael, wing on the left. Jonathan Cordova in the backfield. Quarterback's under center. Here's the snap. They're going to run the same play again. Looking, looking. Now fires the ball over the middle, and it's caught. Complete at the 49-yard line for a first down. That's number 80 for Taos. Larry Martinez. He was one of the two split out on the right-hand side. They had two players in the area. That time, Larry Martinez cradling that ball and going down immediately, just hanging on to the ball. It was third down and nine, but that is good for a first down. Ball inside the big yellow soccer circle here at Anaya Field. First and ten for the Tigers. Ball's on the right-hand hash mark. First and ten from their own 49-yard line. Same formation for Taos. Two on the right, wing on the left. They pitch to Jonathan Cordova going to the left. That's the wide side of the field. He breaks one tackle, gets into Robertson territory to about the 46-yard line. That'll be a gain of about six on the play. Who knew that Jonathan Cordova could play on offense? This is his first game seeing action on the offensive side of the ball. He's played a major role. In fact, uh, without the statistics in front of me, I bet he has the most rushing yards so far today for either team. This ball will be spotted at the 46-yard line on the left-hand hash mark and bring up second down and a long four, almost five, for the Tigers. They'll put three in the backfield, split one on each side. Quick snap. It's going to be a handoff. Lorenzo Rael trying to get to the outside. He's being chased. He's hit at the 50-yard line and gets shoved out of bounds for a big loss. It looked like that play was designed to go up into the middle of the field. There was nothing there, so Lorenzo tried to break to the outside, which is the wide side of the field here on the right side, coming towards the Tau sideline. Nothing doing as Robertson pursued and pushed him out of bounds. That's a loss all the way back into Tau's territory to the 48-yard line. It'll bring up third down and 11. One minute, 40 seconds, and ticking on the clock here in the first half. Third down and 11 for the Tigers. They'll split one man wide on each side. Quarterback Kevin McCarty under center. Three in the backfield, a fullback and two tailbacks. Straight drop back pass, looking, looking, looking. Steps up, now throws the ball deep down the middle. There's got to be a flag, and there it is. Devin Ortega was hit from behind and knocked down, going for that ball, a flag thrown at the 35-yard line. This will be a first down for the Tigers. Robertson vehemently arguing with the officials there. They've had multiple unsportsmanlike conduct penalties thrown against them this year. There was a big one last week against St. Mike's. They are arguing with officials still, and now the officials are talking about it, but that flag came in. We saw it from up here. He was going for the ball and got knocked down from behind. Now they're going to pick up and wave the flag off. They're rewarding the Robertson players for arguing with the officials. I can't believe this. Lots of boos coming from the stands there. Devin Ortega was knocked down. Now the Taos coaching staff wants an explanation for the officials. How do you knock down a receiver and have the flag picked up after that? And, of course, the Robertson Cardinals were out there arguing with the officials, and they seem to be rewarded for their unsportsmanlike conduct. Taos is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout, too, as Coach Flavio Lopez is out on the field trying to get an explanation from the officials. We'll be back in 30 seconds on your new home for Taos Tiger football, 95.9 The Mountain. Well, 
Welcome back to your new home for Taos Tiger football. I have never seen Coach Flavio Lopez so upset. He is ranting on the sideline. He is talking to his players, trying to fire them up. But uh, he gave the officials more than a word or two. And I think probably knowing Coach Lopez, what he was saying is that, you know, it's your job to call that the back judge didn't throw that flag, the side judge did, and then they picked it up. Taos now in punt formation, the ball at their own 48-yard line, fourth and 11. Here's the snap, low snap. Good high spiral kick coming over to the near sideline. Bounces to the 20. Good Taos roll. It's going to be picked up at the 10-yard line. Let's Lucero, and he's to the sideline. Gets pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. A dangerous pickup with a punt bouncing inside the 15-yard line. Lucero catches it on a hop at the 10 and brings it forward, but he'll gain all the way out to the 21-yard line. Coach Lopez still jawing at the officials. 21-yard line. I think one of the problems there, Coach Lopez is saying, you know, first the flag was thrown, and then you had half the Robertson team very animated, jumping up and down, yelling at the officials, and uh, that typically draws a flag too when you do that kind of arguing at the officials, but no flag for that, and then they wave off the pass interference flag, which looked pretty blatant from up here. Devin Ortega getting knocked down in the play. As it stands, first and 10 after the punt, Robertson has the ball on their own 21-yard line. They send three wide on the right side, a man coming off the sideline, looked like a little trick formation there as they came, had a guy come in late off the sideline. They want to throw the ball. Now Ramon Marmont got to him. He tries to throw the ball forward. That should be a grounding call as it's thrown right down at the ground in the middle of the field. Ramon Marmol gets his big hands on the quarterback and slings him down. That'll go as an incomplete pass. The quarterback had stepped up in the pocket looking for somebody, had his arm free and tried to throw it forward. It was between the tackles. The ball didn't get much past the line of scrimmage. I guess they said somebody was probably downfield a little bit if he had gotten a better throw. Looked like Robertson was trying a little trickery there as they had two men split wide to the right and then had a man step off of the sideline and be split wide on that right-hand side. This time they split two wide on each side. Gonzalez back with their quarterback, Les Prince, in shotgun formation. Here's the snap. It's going to hand off in the back. No, he keeps the ball, bounces off of one tackle, and get hit before the 25-yard line. A designed quarterback keeper there out of shotgun formation. He faked a handoff, then stood there, and then ran with the ball. Taos had him wrapped up. He escaped that tackle and pushes forward, the nose of the ball touching the 25-yard line. It'll bring up third down and a long six for the Cardinal. They've got to get out past the 31-yard line for a first. 42 seconds and ticking on the clock here in the first first half. Of course, these two teams played to a one-point conclusion last time they played. This game tight as well. Taos up 10-7 at the moment. Two wide receivers split on each side of the field. Shotgun formation for Lesperance. Gonzalez to his right side. Milking the clock a little bit here. Third down and six. Now he wants the ball. Here's the snap. Fakes the handoff again. Wants to run right up the middle. He's got a couple yards and Taos will take him down. Several Taos players. Larry Martinez. Joaquin Medina. They're going to signal first. It's got to be fourth downs. He didn't get to the 30-yard line. I thought that was an arm for first down, but he only got out to the 29-yard line. They've got to get past the 31 for a first down. It'll be fourth down and two, but there is the gun. You probably heard it in the background, the gun to end the first half of play here in the New Mexico State Championship semifinal playoff round. Taos Tigers taking on Robertson Cardinals out of Las Vegas. Right now it is Taos 10, Robertson 7 going into the halftime. We'll go into the halftime show. We'll listen to all of our fine sponsors making this broadcast possible not just on 95.9 The Mountain, all of northern New Mexico via your FM radio waves, but also globally, worldwide on the Internet via KKITTheMountain.com. We've got listeners all over the world listening to Taos Tiger Football, and our sponsors make that broadcast possible. So we're going to listen to our sponsors here and take a little break and then come back with a halftime show. Taos up 10-7 at halftime over Robertson. We'll be back after this on your new home for Taos Tiger Football. 95.9, The Mountain. Are you ready? We're ready. Hello, this is Mayor Derek Cordova. We here at Taos have much to be proud of. We are the envy of New Mexico, the seat of the United States, for our spectacular scenery, our unrivaled cultural diversity, and our unrelenting celebration of life. We here at Taos enjoy breathtaking views of the majestic board, the majestic Tangre de Cristo, and our unique architecture and way of life, such as our sacred and Mexican. Our colorful history is decorated with the convergence of cultures and traditions for the most interesting and unique history in New Mexico. We here in Taos enjoy a love for life that only others can envy. The people of Taos and the businesses that provide the lifeblood for our economy deserve our respect and patronage. Be proud to be a companion. Experience Taos, support Taos, and live Taos. This holiday season and every other season during the year, please support the businesses that support our beautiful community. Always make it a priority to shop Taos. May you and your family have a safe and happy holiday. Thank you.
about the lunch special that tells pizza out back? Ooh, what's that? A lunch size slice of yummy two toppy pizza with a crisp green salad and a fountain cola for tea or coffee. It's only ten dollars. Wow. Do we have time? Sure, we can call ahead and place our order. What's the number? Seven five eight thirty one twelve. We can check out the whole menu at TousPizzaOutback.com or check out Facebook. What a good idea. Lunch at Taos Pizza Outback. Mmm, a slice of love. Go get them, Tigers. Hi, it's Debbie Friday Tigers, and Friday Motors is proud to support our Taos Tigers this year and every year since 1971. We are here for you for your first car, your next truck, and for all your service and parts needs. AAA certified.